Your family finances are not going well right now, but the financial officer is not the best financial officer you could have in this family unit. The person who is managing the finances of the family is not very good at finance. And if that is the case, then you should switch roles. Sometimes it's good to have another person in the family handle finances. But even if you're handling finances for the family, you, it is not autocratic. Everybody has to come together in the family. We have to cooperate if we want to have a successful financial life. The finances in a family can destroy it. It can destroy the relationship. It destroys the energy. And when poverty walks through the door, love has a way of leaving through the window. So before you get to that point in your life, take a look together with patience, understanding that it is for the highest good of this company. That company meaning your, finance, your family company. The one thing we all should learn is to manage our home financial life, the entire thing like a company. There are different things going on in there. There are different needs and there are different desires. There are different goals and there are different dreams. But just like a huge company, you have to bring them together. You have to have them sitting all at the table and have a discussion. Sometimes we forget that children play a very active part in a household, in a family. And it's quite often that parents do not include children in financial decisions, but they are part of the unit. I know, and we all know, they won't always understand or comprehend the nitty gritty of the finances of the company and of the family, but you need to let them know. Just like the subordinates of a company does not see the whole picture, the same thing happens in a family. The children will not get the entire picture. But if you're planning to buy a home and they will have their own bedroom for the first time, involve them in that part. Let them understand why we cannot go to the movies every, every weekend because we are putting away money or go out to dinner every weekend. We are putting some money away towards purchasing a home where you will not have to share your bedroom with your brother or with your sister. And they will get that. That's not too complicated. That way, when they're with you out shopping, they will know there is a limit. You inform them. It's okay, you may come grocery shopping with me, but we have to stick to the list. Here is the list. Put it on the table, they can read. What else you think should be on that list? What did I forget? Or what should I take off that list? This is, these are little tasks you can give them and that is including them in the mix. That is including them in the family dynamics. That is including them in what's going on in this amazing, wonderful family of yours. Once you have done that, there will be less demand from them. They're getting the picture and you keep giving them an idea of what's going on. They do not have to know everything, but they need to have an overall picture of where this family of yours is going. Now, once you have done that, when it comes to the more complicated things, you can give them as they grow an opportunity to understand what is a credit card. That when we use a credit card to buy you your, your summer clothes or to pay for your activities, mommy and daddy has to pay it back. We now owe the bank money and that's why we have to pay the credit card. Letting them know that what you put on a card has to be paid back. You and explain to them, you gave, they gave me the money so I could pay for your hockey lessons, your swimming lessons, your dance lessons. Now we have to pay them back. And we pay them back by working together and putting that money onto this payment every month. Not all of it will sink in, but you're starting to give them an idea of how the circle of life, the circle of financial life works. And that's a lot of information, but some of it will stick. Some of it will stick. It's like sowing seeds on your lawn. Not every seed you plant in the grass will grow, 
but some of them will grow and they will be amazing and beautiful. And that's the same thing you're doing by giving your children some of those tips. Share those things with them. Get them involved when you're looking at the meals preparation or when you're serving at the table. Give them chores. Explain to them when you want them to be quiet because you're working on the finances. They will get it and they will understand you. So to, uh, in order to make a family successful, all of the people involved in this family has to come together. Their ages don't matter. Their comprehension matters, but you give them exactly what they need. And once you have that in place, you will find that the family financial life is moving better. When you need to cut, cut back, when you notice that things are spoiling, that, they, oh, I wanted this cereal, but you haven't had it. And we paid for it. So that will teach them to think next time when they're going to make a purchase, you say to them, come on, are you sure you're going to eat this? And sometimes when they, there's an activity that they want to attend and they're asking you to make sure they attend this activity, you might have to sign a contract. I had to get my children to sign contracts. And the reason for, they would tell me about a, com a community <laughs> an activity, let's say early September, it is still warm. And I had to sit them down and say, okay, will you want to go to this activity on a Saturday morning in February? Because if we pay for it, it has to be go to the end. You must take all those 16 weeks of classes. And you have 24 hours to decide whether on a cold February morning, you're still willing to go to this activity. If we pay for it, you have to go. Your contract is on the table and you can sign the contract that you will honor this contract and you will honor the decision you're making. And that's how I did it. So they had to think really carefully about that activity. And that way you gave them choices and they understood that these choices came with consequences or they came with reward. So these are the tips I have for you on how to involve the entire family in getting the family to go where the head of the family, the CEO and the CFO has decided this family should go. The little people in the family are the, the slower level employees. They too have a part to play. They too can make that family work or not work. So you have to include everybody in family decisions. So this video, this short video was to give you an idea of what the workings of a family, the workings of how to make a family successful. I hope you enjoy it and you found something in it that you can give you food for thought. The entire idea of these short videos is to give you food for thought. If you want more of this, DM me, send me an email, and I do run classes on those things. I coach people on how to do this, and let me know if you would like my services. My name is Tessa Marie, and welcome to my YouTube channel, where you have really learned the, the answers to life successes. So anyway, have a wonderful afternoon, because this is what I have to say. Hello, Lily, this was not a nice ending. Bye.